Welcome to our channel. I want to speak to you about God's willingness and power to heal us. Healing is something we all need at different points in our lives, whether it is physical, emotional, or spiritual. Many of us have sought healing through various means. Doctors, therapies, medications, and other treatments. While these are valuable and often necessary, given to us by God's wisdom, the ultimate and lasting healing comes from the Lord. Today, we will explore the powerful truth that God is willing to heal us, just as He was when Jesus walked on the earth. God's healing power is available to all. In Matthew 8 verse 1 to 2, when Jesus came down from the mountain, great multitudes followed him. Among them was a man with leprosy, an outcast of society, who was considered unclean. This leper approached Jesus, worshipping him and saying, Lord, if you are willing, you can make me clean. The leper didn't just ask for healing, he acknowledged Jesus as Lord and believed in his power. We too need to come to God with worship and faith, recognizing his Lordship over all our circumstances. No matter what you are facing, physical sickness, emotional pain, or spiritual brokenness, know that God's healing power is available to you. It is not reserved for a select few. It is for everyone who comes to him in faith. God is willing to heal you. In response to the leper's plea, Jesus did something remarkable. He reached out, touched him, and said, I am willing, be cleansed. Matthew 8 verse 3 Immediately, the leprosy was cleansed. This is one of the most powerful statements in the Bible. I am willing. It reveals God's heart toward us. God's will for us is good. He desires to heal us and make us whole. Often we may doubt if God wants to heal us, especially if we have struggled with something for a very long time. We may think our condition is too difficult or that we are unworthy of his touch. But Jesus shows us here that God is compassionate and willing to meet us at our point of need. His touch brings immediate healing, not just to our bodies, but to our souls. After healing the leper, Jesus instructed him to show himself to the priest and offer the gift Moses commanded as a testimony. This act of obedience was a public declaration of God's power and served as a testimony to the religious leaders. Likewise, when God heals us, it becomes a testimony to others of his goodness and power. We must remember to seek healing in alignment with God's will. The leper said, If you are willing, and Jesus affirmed, I am willing. Healing is not just about what we want. It is about submitting to God's will, knowing that his plans are always better. Sometimes, God's healing may not come in the way or timing we expect, but we can trust that he always acts out of his love and wisdom. God cares about your deepest hurts. After healing the leper, Jesus encountered a Roman centurion who came to him on behalf of his paralyzed and tormented servant. The centurion pleaded with Jesus, and without hesitation, Jesus responded, I will come and heal him. This was the second time in this chapter Jesus declared his willingness to heal. Jesus didn't just heal diseases, he healed broken hearts and restored hope. Are you pleading with God for a loved one today? Perhaps you are carrying a burden that seems too heavy to bear. Know that God cares deeply about your concerns. He is willing to meet you where you are, to heal what is broken, and to restore what is lost. He sees your tears. 
hears your prayers and is moved by your faith. Healing comes through faith in God's word. The centurion displayed remarkable faith. He told Jesus, Lord, I am not worthy that you should come under my roof, but only speak a word and my servant will be healed. Matthew 8 verse 8 to 10. He recognized the authority of Jesus' word and believed it was enough to bring healing, even from a distance. This kind of faith made Jesus marvel. The centurion didn't demand proof. He simply trusted in the power of Jesus' word. We too must have faith that God's word is enough. His promises are sure and his word brings healing. The Bible says he sent his word and healed them. Psalm 107 verse 20 We need to trust in God's word as much as we trust the prescriptions given by doctors. When God speaks, things change. Jesus told the centurion, Go your way as you have believed, so let it be done for you. Matthew 8 verse 18 and the servant was healed that very hour. This passage reminds us that our faith plays a crucial role in experiencing God's healing. The centurion's faith wasn't in his own worthiness, but in Jesus' authority and compassion. Faith doesn't mean denying the reality of our pain or problems. It means believing in God's power to change our reality. Even when the healing we seek doesn't come immediately, we must continue to believe, trusting in God's timing and will. The enemy wants us to doubt and lose hope, but we are called to stand firm, believing that God is still at work. Healing is God's will to humanity. God promises in Jeremiah 30 verse 17, For I will restore health to you and heal your wounds, says the Lord. Healing is not just something God does, it is part of who He is. He is Jehovah Rapha, the Lord who heals. He heals not just our bodies, but our hearts, minds, and spirits. His healing touch restores, renews, and redeems us. God's healing is an expression of His love and compassion. He doesn't punish us with sickness. He desires to make us whole. When Jesus walked on earth, he healed all who came to him. That same power is available to us today through prayer and faith. James 5 verse 16 tells us, Pray for each other so that you may be healed. The prayer of a righteous person is powerful and effective. God is still in the healing business today. No matter what you are going through, no matter how long you have struggled, God is willing and able to heal you. Approach Him with faith, acknowledging Him as Lord over your situation. Pray according to His will and trust that He hears you. Healing may come in different forms, physical, emotional, spiritual, but God's touch always brings transformation. Let us remember that our faith in God's healing power is not in vain. As you believe, so let it be done to you. Hold on to his promises, stand firm in your faith, and know that God's will for you is good. He will heal your wounds, restore your health, and give you a testimony of his grace. Heavenly Father, we come before you today recognizing your power and willingness to heal. We thank you for the gift of your son Jesus, who showed us that you care about every aspect of our lives. Lord, we bring our hurts, pains, and sicknesses before you today, believing that you are able and willing to heal us. Strengthen our faith, help us to trust in your word, and let your will be done in our lives. May we experience your healing touch and be restored in every way. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.